Hello everyone and welcome to Free Flow Wednesday, brought to you this week by Helen. This is the inspiration piece and I can't say I really looked at it before I started, but somehow my layout kind of could have come from it, as in I picked a graphic piece of patterned paper to use as my starting point. You see, a little while ago, Sam and I went driving. He's 17 and a half, Nelly, and he's got to do over 50 hours of driving practice in order to get his license. And about so far, we've done six hours. Anyway, we we're trying to build up his driving hours by driving down to Bunbury, which is a good hour or so away from here. And I had made this convoluted path for him to follow so that we could get as many hours up as possible. And when I saw this piece of paper from Dear Lizzie, I thought it's a perfect one to do for Sam's driving picture. Seeing as my car is a little red Mazda, I thought it was only fitting that I coloured the cars in red. So I pulled out some of my Prismacolor pencils and had a good old fun time colouring in. I chose to colour in just a few to highlight it, and this one here that you can see I'm working on right now was a waste of my time, because in the end you can't even see it. But that's how I scrapbook. I get an idea and I go with it. I don't generally pre-plan a layout at all. So sometimes I do things, cover them up. Anyway, I pulled out more paper from the range and decided that I needed a nice coloured frame around it. Used the double sided tape method. This time, if you saw my last layout, you would have seen how badly I stuffed up with, when I decided to use my ATG gun. So I learnt my lesson and I used the double sided tape and it was much better. I took it off to my sewing machine and sewed around the edges. And then to tie in that red, I decided to map the photo first with red and then with a contrasting bluey, tealy colour. I'm trying my hardest to remember what this range is called. Anyway, it's one fairly recent from Dear Lizzie. Here you can see. And luckily I stopped and thought and looked at the other side of this pattern paper before I started chomping into it because the little piece there with the red car fits perfectly. And as you can see, covers up the one I did colour in. I decided I needed a piece of pattern paper to sit on to give it a, a ledge or a, a, a shelf to work from. And after trialling a few, I liked this lighter blue colour. And then I was fiddling around going, it needs something else. Maybe a bit of that same tealy colour that I've got around the photo. And then sitting on my desk was the strip off the bottom of one piece of pattern paper and I liked the foxes and then I liked the bit of the strip on the bottom of this one as well. So I cut enough to layer it up to make it interesting. Just don't quite know what happened with my sticking skills. It started off so well but well when I tried to put it down it's not actually the straightest and it was, wasn't quite stuck down the best. I thought I'll try and pull it apart and that didn't work. I realised I was going to rip it all completely. So I persevered and kept going. Found some skinny tape to stick these two pieces together. And once again, don't know what quite happened. It didn't get very straight. But, you know, I always say when you do these things and you make errors or it doesn't quite go the way you want it, it just means you need a bit more embellishing in that area. So I tried to fix it by trimming it so that it didn't look too crooked. But, oh well, at least it's on there, I suppose. And as I always say, a blind man would love to see it. I did pull out my T-square ruler to try and fix it up as much as I could. But it's down. That's the main thing. It's one more memory recorded and in my album. And once again, this matting wasn't the best around the photos either. And to get it straight, was the photo was crooked. So I tried to trim it up and square it up the best I could. This was another piece from that cut-apart sheet. 
I trimmed it down so that it did fit in that area because I had already stuck it down the size it was from the sheet it was going to hang off the page and then I decided I just needed to build a little bit more around the photo and as I said before it's just I was randomly picking up pieces thinking well what can I do how can I make it interesting I need to balance out the color by putting the yellow up the top and I chose that yellow because of the yellow hay in the cut a cut part sheet but I still felt it needed a bit more yellow so I got this piece out and wanted because of all the straight lines I just needed a little bit of an interest on that piece and found my good old punch from stamping up added that and then I wanted to balance out that blue or that light blue color added a piece to the top and really I just cut and stick I don't measure this also was on the cut apart sheet and I just turned it into a little banner and there was another piece as well and I felt the phrases were fitting you know less talk concentrate on your driving Sam less worry on my side as the teacher navigator no in all honesty he did a great job really and if we would only just practice a little bit more he soon would be able to drive me around rather than just up the wall no he doesn't do that really that often Anyway, I found, went through the embellishment pack, pulled out some pieces. And although, although this car isn't red and it is gold or rose gold, it was too, too cute not to use. As you can see, there's a few little layable stickers too that I pulled off the sticker sheet. And I've pulled out these wooden cars. I have a feeling Studio Calico from a while ago. And used some dilution spray to colour them. And when they were dry... When I just needed something behind them to kind of ground them. So once again, I found another old punch and just cut out some of these darker tealy pieces just to be that little bit of grounding for the little wooden cars. And then went through the smaller embellishment pieces. I mean, it's a good thing about using these ranges that they have got large pieces from pattern paper right down to those tiny little enamel dots or buttons like in this case trying to do my clusters of three pull, pulling in some enamel dots now and then I pick up the puffy stickers and there's little tiny hearts that I add Go. Th I went through my stash of stickers and found these ones from a while ago white and gold and it ties in with the gold you can't although it's yellow gold not rose gold but still has that bit of a shine that's on the card I cut and stuck them down and some journaling off screen and that's it quite a simple layout this week but a lot of fun to make take care for now bye